So this project took me around three days to make it working as I was experimenting with the simple DC motors and with the different mechanism. Here I am having this syringe. It can be of any size. The larger the size, the more air it will pump. And for base, I am using this acrylic sheet. Our components will be placed this way. We need some measurement where exactly we are going to place our components. I cut these acrylic pieces to give a height and support to our components. Let's stick them to the motor's place. And we will stick the same for the syringe. And here the syringe will be having two holes. One of them is for inlet and the another one is for outlet and so I will make an inlet hole I will put a teflon tape on this pipe to make a one way valve I will keep a small gap to allow the air going out and blocks the air coming in. So after putting it to its place, now we are almost done with our air pump. And now we have to make an another valve. For that I am going to make a small hole on the nozzle of this pump. I will block this nozzle and the air will be coming out from the hole we just made
I am using zip ties to hold them on its place. I had experimented with this simple motor but it don't works so I will replace it with the geared motor which provides more thrust and uh, surely it will work. After changing the motor and the piston mechanism, finally it works. While putting this pipe, we will ensure the hole we have made gets covered and hence it will block the air coming in and it's only allow the air goes out. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and sure to subscribe. See you in the next video.